It isn't only in direct ways narcissists abuse you. In fact, the process is very calculated. Their abuse is very hidden and covert. It is done in a way that everything becomes very hard to recognize and understand. They get what they want by withholding the basic elements such as affection and care to drive a person crazy. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional and today I'll be talking about four withholding tactics narcissists use to punish and control their victim. Before we proceed further, please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel by pressing the subscribe button and push that bell icon so that you stay updated with every video that I post on here. Number one, withholding affection and care. Affection, care, love, they are the basic ingredients in the recipe of relationship. If these elements are absent, the whole relationship would be unstable. There would be no in-depth connection or deep connection between the two partners. And this applies to any kind of relationship, be it between the parent and the child or between two friends. Narcissists purposely withhold these ingredients to control and modify your behavior. They starve you to the point where you have to ask for it and then they make you the crazy one. They show affection or rather pretend to show affection only when they need something from you. This hot and cold behavior of theirs leads to something called intermittent positive reinforcement. And this is a way how they train your brain to accept the unacceptable. This is how they normalize their abusive behavior. This hot and cold behavior is the root cause of how a trauma bond develops at the first place. Because if you look back at the beginning of the relationship, they showered you with love and affection and they pretend to be the most caring person you will ever meet or have in your life. But when the mask fell off and the devaluation started, you saw the monster. This is when the withholding of affection started to begin. And then you tried more and more to restore the homeostasis, but it was never, never possible. However, when they felt that they're losing control over you, they showed you that glimpse of who they were in the beginning, which is how it is hot and cold. And that is what causes cognitive dissonance and trauma bonding, as I was explaining. This is what conditions your mind to wait for that next high, thus keeps you stuck in the relationship. Number two, withholding praise and appreciation. As humans, it's our valid need to be appreciated, to be praised, because that makes us feel seen. And when we are seen, we tend to grow more. We tend to step in our power and expand into our greatest version possible. However, the narcissist showers you with love in the love bombing stage. They shower you with praise just to tighten up the strings that control you, knowing damn well that they are filling you up so that they can suck you dry later. And you will be trying to get that fake admiration back. In an abusive relationship, withholding praise and interest is strategically used to abuse the victim so that the victim believes that they are needy and desperate and starts questioning themselves and tries to find what has changed. What is it that they have done wrong? What is it that they need to improve? Narcissists even accuse you of fishing for compliments and attention when you are just questioning their strange behavior. Before we move to the number third and fourth, what was withheld in your relationship? Just post your experience in comments below and help us expand our knowledge. Number third, withholding validation and stonewalling. Validation is very important and crucial when it comes to a healthy relationship. When you are validated, your emotions and feelings are validated, you feel seen, you feel heard, you feel connected. And the opposite of this happens in a narcissistic relationship. Everything from your feelings to what you do, to what you eat, how you look, everything is invalidated. To psychologically abuse and mentally isolate you. They also use what is called as stonewalling. Stonewalling is the refusal to communicate with someone. And it is one of the most destructive techniques that they use to mentally torture you. When someone stonewalls you, they withdraw themselves from the equation without any explanation and just stop communicating. The silent treatment causes the partner, you or the victim, the excessive fear. It keeps them in a state of hypervigilance and anxiety and a state of self-doubt, thinking, what did I do wrong? What was my fault? What do I need to improve? Why did this happen? Why am I being treated like this? Why am I being treated as if I am not alive, as if I am dead, as if I don't exist? So this is the attack 
to the existence of a person. It is one of the most torturous and covert way of psychologically breaking a person down. They also use stonewalling as a way to escape accountability for their actions. Number four and the final thing is withholding truth. Honesty and truth, these are the foundation elements of any kind of or form of relationship. If these are absent, the relationship would be unstable. There would be no stability at all and thus the lack of true and authentic connection between two or more people. And contrary to this, narcissists are pathological liars. The whole relationship with them is based on a lie. In fact, it is a lie in itself because you fall for an illusion that they create, that they want you to fall for. They wear a mask to cover their true self. And their true self is only seen when you hurt them, when, when there is a narcissistic injury or when the mask falls and the devaluation starts, then you see the monster behind the mask. And this is the whole story behind the lie and the truth. If the beginning was based on the lie, the whole relationship is what they keep going on the basis of this lie. Withholding the truth puts the victim in a position where they experience extreme emotional pain and suffering. But the narcissist lies without any care and concern because they do not give a damn about what happens to the next person. They just have to do what they need to do for getting what they want to get. That is a simple thing here. They lack true empathy. They lack true concern and true compassion. And there is no self-reflection. There, is, there isn't a voice within them that you know pops up in their head and says, you shouldn't be doing this. This is wrong the way it is within you or within those who are not narcissists. So the whole thing is about lie. It begins with the lie and it ends up with the lie. To them, the most important thing is their needs and they have to meet them at any cost. I hope today I was able to help you understand why narcissists withhold what they withhold. I'll talk with you very soon in the next video. Till then, let the healing begin.